today is World Mental Health Day. And um, just being completely honest, 2024, like a lot of you, has, I mean, run its course and run its number on my mental health. The thing is, like, I knew that I'd been sad and grieving and unemployed and all the things, but it was not, it was not until today that I realized I have been low-key depressed. Mm -hmm. And I only discovered it because I actually slept well last night. I mean, slept like a baby, fell asleep at 12.15 and didn't wake up until like 8.45, just like straight through. Sorry, y'all, it's a be out here that will not let me be great. And like, it's taking me out. It, it leaves when I leave and when I come back, it comes back. It's, it's killing me. <laughs> but that said, I woke up this morning and the birds were chirping and apparently the bees are being and I felt lighter and happy and I realized that it's 1010 not only is it World Mental Health Day but also 1010 is an angel number and it's about abundance and manifestation and I just woke up with a different pair of eyes if that makes sense. My friends and I launched Girl We Need to Talk four years ago and had some amazing conversations and met some incredible women and um, our first launch party was also on 1010, 2020. When the world had stopped, we decided that we were going to host these conversations and they've been impactful. And I kind of put the brakes on Girl We Need to Talk because I just have not felt inspired and I've been angry and upset and sad. And again, 2024 was just like came in here like a bull in a china shop. But I'm not the only one. And so it forced me to ask myself the question today, why did you wake up feeling that way? Like what's, what shifted from January to October? And then I started taking an assessment over the last couple of weeks. Like I've had some incredible conversations with my girlfriends. My friends are pulling for me. They are cheering for me. My sisters are, I mean, y'all know the Bailey girls, how we rock. But y'all send me job applications, you send me scriptures, you send me books, you listen, you leave me alone. Um, then you come in and you pull me out. And I realized that I started the week off, I met this incredible woman named Amber, just on LinkedIn and just on some like sister girl stuff, like we connected. And I was like, girl, even if, even if I don't uh, take you up on the things that we discussed and switching lanes uh, in the career space, you got to be my friend. And we had an hour long conversation and our hearts did a thing. And I was like, you know what? That was a divine connection. A connection that was made through another friend. Ta-da, of course. Then later that afternoon, or should I say the next day, I spoke to my best friend, Amber, and a different Amber, but by the same name and equally amazing. We had like a three hour conversation. We don't get to talk that often. So when we do, it's like, girl, boom, 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 boom. And it, you know, we got to get it all in and get it all out. And I also spent some amazing time with some uh, young ladies on um, over the weekend. And they're just incredible and give me so much hope and joy for the future. And also I learned so much from them because you know, they snazzy. Let me tell you something about these 20 somethings. The world is not red tea. Listen, and I'm just a proud, I just be watching like, yes, y'all better go girls. Um, but even last night, I got a chance to hang out with some other black women and just hang out with them and we grilled and we drank and we laughed and we talked and, you know, one is grieving her mother and I know what that's like in terms of grieving a parent and it's just like, women specifically black women but the women in my life feed my soul and nourish me and as I was in the gym working out today which is like day four this week it dawned on me that I am so grateful have the circumstances changed no they have not but I'm looking every day I'm like okay is that the opportunity is that the opportunity and like I said my girls be on deck the girl girls are on deck, okay? And even this morning, I woke up to a friend. She had posted a video 
uh, about the amazing things that are happening in her life and and the trajectory of her life and uh, you know the priorities of self and God and the way things are coming together and it just gave me a renewed sense of hope so on this day 1010 as I woke up to read um, my daily devotional that I am good about sometimes and not great about other times um, also a book a devotional given to me by a friend who actually said sisterhood is self-care Rakia shout out I love you um, she said sisterhood is self-care on season one of growing need to talk and it's true because even with this October 10th the word is encourage and it's first that's First Thessalonians 5.11, encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. Uh, the reflection is build up at least two people today. Let the first person be a stranger and the second a dear friend. And that in itself will preach. Um, they ask the question, who in your life builds you up? And the answer is my community, my village, my ladies, my sisters, my friends, my sister friends. Um, and I'm so grateful. This B is back, child. Like, this B, listen, Aunt B, what is it that you want to tell the people? Because I know that I'm over here looking like I'm dripped in honey that is sweat. Let me know. Let me just finish the video. Thank God Almighty. Goodness. The point is, things are turning around. I feel it. Things got to be turning around. They got to be turning around. Like, they, you know that song? It's turning around for me. I proclaim that I declare that it is so. So let's declare it on today. This mental health awareness, or should I say world mental health award, aware, I can't get this out. World mental health awareness day. Let us declare that on this day, 1010, things are turning around for us. So encourage yourself. That's another one, child. Sometimes you have to do it. Ah, the B! Listen! Encourage yourself. <laughs> I love y'all. If you get a chance, go and watch old episodes of Girl We Need to Talk. My heart and soul won't let me let Girl We Need to Talk go, so she coming back in some form. Um, even if it's just check-ins here on what love is because that's another thing I was like oh I'm so loved God loves me so much I'm so loved I'm so loved I'm so loved like it shows up even in Trader Joe's today I was like I'm so loved and because God loves me God has sent me so many women to love on me because I'm so loved I am charity and I am love but that's Corinthians that I also preach anyway we coming up on eight minutes is way too long but I do love y'all Please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Take care of your mental health. Give yourself a break. I do know that the world is in a state of disaster. And I've had to turn the headlines off. I want us to stay in in touch and tuned in. But we got to know when to turn it off as well, right? Because it's a lot. It's a lot. The world is a lot right now. Prayers to those being affected by Hurricane Milton and Helene, um, politics, unemployment, just craziness, madness in the world. It's all so much, but it's turning around. It's got to turn around. We got to hit the brakes, turn this ship around. <sighs> Again, love y'all. Take care of yourselves and uh, let's be great. Encourage yourself and look for the best in every day because I'm looking, child. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>